No nation, we at it again once more with another update. And today, for me, no see the title, it's all about Vibes Cartel, and we are come to talk about his chances of being a free man. And I made a huge mistake because I one thousand percent me put, but me put one hundred percent. But anyways, I no just let me only hear a couple of minutes. Now, people, we all know that this ongoing privy council thing. Yes, so me I say it's about to start. Yes, so me I say probably early next year or mid next year it will probably start because you all know that. The Privy Council is a bit of a, you know what I mean, slow process, but it's very, very effective. Now, guys, I have a whole lot of confidence in Isaac Buchanan representing Vibes Cartel. Not saying that the um, past liars were, you see me, I say, incompetent, but to be honest, guys, you know what I mean, this, 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 this liar has a more, what I call it now, clean sweep track record, as in he always wins his case, you know what I mean? And big woman thing me not tell no lie still. So me I said the way how Isaac Buchanan dissect down Vibes Cartel whole, you know what I mean, phone examination and phone tampering process, it just goes to show that he is him know where do. Him know where do. And this is why Cartel put him in the driver's seat and said, Listen me, I can't drive at the moment, so you need to steer the wheels to freedom. You see me I say? No, I'm very confident that Vibes Cartel will be a free man by possibly early next year, mid next year, you know what I mean? And me just hope say when all of them haters just vibes cartel forward a road back and a tour and a doing bag of shows, me hope nobody but me hope nobody envy nobody loom the man. Hope nobody envy and jealous words nobody loom the man. You know what I mean? You know, if you just keep certain things to yourself because this man has been wrongfully sentenced. Yes, we, none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. You know what I mean? But when it comes down to Vibes Cartel, oh my god, man. Society make you look like you're the worst individual. And a lot of these key players in crimes and violence in our society today's age are politicians and what if a rich man will live up a Cherry Garden and up a Jack Seal and them place there. You know what I mean? Because a lot of contract killings are going on out there and them uptown people I hire these guys from the ghetto to do it. You know what I mean? So, I'm not going to say that, oh... You know what I mean? This and that and, you know what I mean? This and that and. If you understand what I say, I'm not going to come and, and, and hold down my mouth and talk. I'm going to be real. None of we are not perfect. None of we don't perfect. As human beings, we are not perfect. You see what I say? So, yes, Vibes has probably made a few mistakes in his life, but this, the whole Clive Blizzard Williams situation, he was wrongfully convicted. And the phone records and the phone location and the phone GPS tracking system shows. You know what I mean? And that's going to be a vital piece of evidence within the Privy Council trial. You know what I mean? And I want to say I felt more relieved and I felt more comfortable when I actually saw that the phone was actually tampered with. Because there have been rumors speculating that the phone was actually tampered with, but we never have no proof. Now, the phone expert flew in from the UK and the 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 behalf of um Vibes Carter as a lawyer, yes what I mean I say and the Privy Council also because they made an appeal so they have to send him forward and when I heard that the phone was actually tampered with Yes what I mean I say I say I never joke thing because people can't say anything you know but until you get the proof in the pudding before you can say well Jaja you know what I mean I didn't believe when me the DS said them say the phone tampered with because people can't say anything you know what I mean? And I've been hearing that from before the trial even finished that, oh, the phone get tampered with. But these speculations were coming from citizens, not the bigger heads. So as I tell them, I mean, I run with where citizens, them, I run with where the bigger heads, them say, and where, the, you know what I mean? Where we see out there upon the internet and thing. We don't really run with where people say, because here's a can go court. And we all know Jamaican people stay. They mouth cut cross way. Then we, sorry, everybody mouth cut cross way. But Jamaican people more just, you know, you know, like, like take for instance, two women are fight down the road. And one man bust one head. It's a stone. He was bust the man head, you know, but the other individual I go on the road. Yo, John used one machine to chop out Oxford head. You know, they look away there. So, you know, Jamaican people always exaggerate on certain things. So that was why I never really follow up the whole tampering thing. You see what I say? But when I heard that the, bu the um, I'm sorry, that the, the, the phone expert, the British phone expert flew in and he tested the phone and the phone was actually tampered with, I was like, this looks like a good, good getaway for Vibes Cartel. Honestly, I want Vibes Cartel to be a free man. And I know Gaza Nation, his family, his mom, Shati, his kids especially, they want him to come home. 
And come on, man. The man basically, uh, he's been he's been locked up from 2011 and now it's 2021. So basically, a 10 year that. You can't really count jail time with prison time, but just adding everything. Just adding everything that's overall 10 years behind bars. If fair enough, you don't make the man come a road because if you don't have solid evidence, why are you letting this man serve a 35 year sentence for something that you cannot prove he did? Phone records show that he was not at the scene. The GPS shows that when when that video was that, that so called famous video when that video was actually being shot, Vibes Cartel was not on the premises or nowhere near the premises, Swallowfield Avenue, when that video was actually shown or being being shot. Just let me answer, so it just goes to show you say all of them things there. A people just want to bring down Vibes Cartel. But let me ask the haters. I'm not really sure if nobody else are going to really be brave and answer. But this question is for the haters. What are you guys going to do when Vibes Cartel walk? I'm going to be honest. What are you going to do? You can leave it in the comment section because as I say, on opinions over this platform, you see what I say? On just on opinions, opinions are opinions. So I just want to hear your opinion. What are you going to do when Vibes Cartel walk free because he is going to walk free i am definite i am sure he's going to walk free because you cannot convict if vibes cartel was in the in the states he would be tried properly because you don't know forensic and whatever what yada 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 one of the next thing what kind of threw me off a bit it really threw me off but me i gotta talk about it though the, the the detectives basically stated that they found blood samples in the house now the house was them say cartel killed the man use fabuloso um we're calling now fabuloso and whatever whatever clean up the house and then him light the house of fire after the fact that he just cleaned the house him catch the house of fire and they said that throughout the whole burnt rubble they found blood samples well them are forensic people so them them liable for fine but anything you understand but what i'm saying after all of those evidence where them gather up against Vibes Cartel, you notice that that blood sample that they found at Swallowfield Avenue, it was not used in the trial. It was not even brought up in the trial. Just remember, you know, this was an alleged report from the detectives who were on the scene stating that, listen me, we find a heap of blood samples so somebody actually died in this house. How come, how come that this wasn't brought up in court? Why are just the phone and the video and the voice notes them used? What about the blood sample? Why wasn't it used? You understand? I mean, I try to show you, I say, I've been following this case from the day it started till the day it ended. Because I am a fan of Vibes Cartel. I respect Vibes Cartel. I think Vibes Cartel is a very, very influential person. And I think Vibes Cartel is innocent. And if anybody disagree with me, well, to each his own. But me, I got dis let, let us agree to disagree then. If you are saying that Cartel is not innocent. If you are saying that Cartel is not innocent and I am saying Cartel is innocent. Well, let us agree to disagree because I'm going to hold what I'm saying and keep my stance firmly. But because them did want to get rid of Vibes Cartel so long. Them did just want to get rid of him. You know, them just want to get rid of him. Them just want to get rid of him. And at the end of the day. All of them were group up against cartel still not get an award. Check it out. None of them not get no award. None of them not get ten million dollars in them bank account. None of them no win no Grammy. None of them none of them were fight. Them not get no form of recognition for what they did. So what was the sole purpose of fighting against a man who is very talented? Makes no sense to me. You know what I mean? But as me say, Vibes Cartel will always prevail over them, you know, because the fight and the hate and the pain that he's enduring, it makes him stronger. And it coming like, say, them people that were listening to his music. No, it coming like these people who are against him, them not listen to his music. The man said, the more you fight, the stronger me get. So my best advice to the haters, you not just low cartel, brother, because you can't bring him down, you can't defeat him. You see what I say? Mm -mm. Just not going to work. And at the end of the day, none of we not perfect. But guys, this is where I'm going to end the update. Hope you enjoyed it to the fullest. If you, have, if you have anything to say about the topic, please feel free to leave it in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. Okay? So until the next time and the next topic, I'm out.